Hello everybody, just want to start this video off by saying Don't drink and fly Watch your jet bro, watch your jet! So why not experience the joy of flying with Microsoft Flight Simulator A game wildly played right now for some reason But uh, unlike you guys, uh, I am a natural born pilot And I'm here today to show you the correct way to be playing Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, I am your host with the most casualty, uh, your host with the most uh, successful flights across the globe It's ISP, that's right baby, no need to clap everyone you're not American. Don't clap when the flight lands, all right? It's kind of weird. Ah, uh, flight training? Why are you training to fly a plane? What are you on about? I came out the womb in a 747, baby. That's why you don't hear me talk about my mom. Tore her apart, the poor thing. All right. Welcome, like I said. It's Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Uh, today, we're going to be doing... You know what? We're going to start off with an easy little flight today show you the rope uh yeah we won't be uh doing any of that you know pussy fighting around we'll go straight for the 747 a intercontinental you know good plane big plane kind of looks like it's got a growth on the front of it but that's fine that's just modern ingenuity baby get used to it there you go we're doing an easy flight today just uh, straight from america all the way to dublin nice easy flight straight smooth sailing across the skies it's gonna be beautiful hello everyone this is your pilot speaking isp welcome to our boeing 747 flight across the atlantic to dublin today we'll be going at a cruising speed of 400 million degrees to hell and we'll uh, have some nice clear weather. At our landing destination, the weather is currently minus 700 degrees with a nice case of hell, fire, and ice falling from the skies. Uh, yeah, if everyone could go ahead and start looking forward to our students to uh, do the safety instructions. Thank you and uh, welcome aboard. Also, whoever fired it back there, post 9-11, those doors might be uh, still, um, you know, lockproof. But I can still smell it. All right, so flying a plane is easy. Uh, we, we've got to do all the checklists. Well, I don't need no checklist. I know what I'm doing. We just got to fly to Dublin. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to, well, look at, really. And a lot of buttons we probably shouldn't be pressing. But uh, we, we will start the uh, the engines up now. We're going gonna to throttle up, get the plane going. There we go, nice roar of the engines there. Uh, when we've uh, reached full engine start, we will unleash the brakes and we will start our ascent into the airs, baby. Right, okay, perfect. We got our throttle all the way up now. Now we can uh, just uh, you know, press some buttons over here. Just, uh, it's, it's all just flight stuff. Uh, you're going to want to smack that up, you know, just a little bit. Press that button, press that button. I'll button over here I need to press too. Uh, I'm going to fiddle with that thing and then uh, whatever that is, just press that. Press, press some buttons. Oh, there's some up here. i got to press all these. The brakes are off. I hope you're ready for the flight of the century, everyone. Now, a lot of people think just because this runway is, is quite small that uh, you can't take off on it, but I can prove it today that uh, we're going to take off just fine. Don't worry about it. It's going to be the best flight of your life. And, uh, oh, well, there we go. Hello everyone and welcome back. This is your uh, this is your captain speaking, letting you know that we have arrived safely. Uh, it's a nice seven billion twenty one speed knots degrees outside, and if everyone could go ahead and don't unbuckle your seatbelts until the uh, sign says don't, you're already unbuckling it. I can hear you back there. Hold on, I'm coming back there and I'm gonna start slapping. I, I like a lot of people think piloting a plane's hard, but I just showed you right there with no training. I just Flew that 747, easy peasy. All right, okay, that was a bit of an easy flight. I want a bit of a challenge. So today, me and my friend uh, Rod Rudigraves are gonna bring back the drug trade and start, you know, funneling, uh, you know, some of our high quality product of cocaine uh, uh, straight from Luton Airport to Heathrow Airport. Biggest trade in the entire world. Again, it's just it's pretty much the same stuff. You just gotta you gotta throttle up. And uh, also, one thing I do want to point out is don't be alarmed. The fact that Rodriguez is invisible, he has a power, and that's how we are so successful with the Luden Heathrow truck trade. 
So yeah, I've, I've flown many flights before. This is simple. It's a small plane. Doesn't require, you know, a lot of attention span. And uh, it does most of the work for you. In fact, I won't even have to do anything here. I'll just, I'll just wait. And the plane will go the right direction. Any minute now. Any minute now, it'll be in the sky. Just give it a minute. Five minutes. Just ten minutes, and this plane will be in the sky all on its own. I've got my eyes closed right now. Any minute now. Any minute. There you go. Look at that. Didn't have to do anything. So I still don't have to do anything. I could just leave right now and this plane would arrive at its destination. It's kind of like a Tesla. There you go. We're now on course for our destination of Heathrow Airport. It is 21NM, which stands for Nipples Monster. Big problem in the aviation industry. There you go. The best part about flying is looking down at that beautiful landscape. Here we can see, uh, well, that's England. Um, if it's not a massive industrial sprawl, it is. It's just a field. Fields for, for until your eyes bleed. That's England. Uh, there you go. Uh, on our tour today, as you see to your left, that is uh, the Mega Doritos complex. That's where all the Doritos in the world are actually manufactured. Um, if it comes back and that's actually some top secret government facility, sorry about that government, please don't arrest me. Ah, England, you can, you can never really tell if you're in Eastern Europe <laughs> or the middle of Dorich. Uh, right, me and Rodriguez are now 10 nipple monsters away from our destination of Heathrow Airport. Now, the problem is with getting a plane in the sky is that's the easy part. Getting the plane back down on the ground is even easier. Let me show you how. Alright, so when you're a, you're a good close distance to the airport, it's pretty simple. You just gotta, you gotta get your wheels down, obviously. So you gotta land, you wanna go into your cockpit, you wanna make sure the throttle is now completely down. Don't need to worry about that whatsoever. Plane doesn't need any more speed, because where we're going is down. Speed makes us go up. It's just simple. So then, you know, uh, realistically, plane is just going to fall right where it needs to go. Don't need to worry about a thing other than putting the brakes on when you do get pretty close. You might hear some beeping. Those are beeps of you're doing a good job. Standard in the airline industry, stuff like that. Uh, obviously, you want to... You want to aim for the runway, you don't want to you know, get anywhere else. And uh, It is also complimentary and pretty sick if you start doing some barrel rolls too. That gives you some extra cool points in the, in the pilot's lounge. And uh, as you can see, the plane's not even fighting me here. It's just, it wants to go down to ground and land on its own. Look at that. Look at that. It's like I'm not even falling. I'm so cool. Alright, uh... It's been a good flight today, you know? I don't know how they haven't caught on to me and Rodriguez as a legal business, but I think it's just because we're such... We're so cool. We're so good. We're the best pilots around. Uh, we're, we're basically gliding this puppy back down to land, where it belongs, where it wants to be. Uh, of course, if you're slightly off course, don't worry about it. It's at Heathrow Airport. It's a giant airport. Gets bigger every single day. Um... We're coming in for a landing now. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's been a nice easy flight. Uh, the people in the tower obviously are telling me I'm doing a very good job. But I have turned that off. As I don't want any distractions while I am attempting to land this puppy. Anyway guys. It's been a nice flight. And uh, there you go. Nice and easy. Just like that. Alright Rodriguez. Get the drugs. All right, I want to do this again, but I want to do a big plane. Big, big, big plane. Biggest plane we can get. Let's do from London. Lots of stuff to see in London, you know. I want to start seeing the sights up here. And the, uh, the path I've selected should go over a few of those famous sights. So we might keep your eyes, eyes peel, peeled, viewer. Uh, leave a like if you see the ground at any point. Hit the subscribe button if you see the sky. Would anyone like to uh, hit the bell button if they see a plane? Am I demeaning you enough? Oh, that's not a good sign. Half my plane appears to be in the water already. Uh, oops. Alright, same old, same old, really. Just gotta wait for those engines to uh, warm up and... Oh, this is a short runway again. 
Will we be able to make it into the air? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Probably. I'm, I'm such a good pilot. It doesn't matter regardless. I get a five-star Uber rating every time. I'm flying for Uber. Welcome to the future. The Cyberpunk 2029. 20, Welcome to the future. Oh, okay. Hold on a sec. Uh, yeah. Oof. Didn't really, didn't really make it that far that time around. But uh, we'll just, just glide it. Back. Hello everybody, this is your pilot speaking, we have landed safely! Uh, this time around, be no funny business, we'll be taking off as we did before. Simply let the plane do the work for you. I'm gonna close my eyes and I'll see you in the air. Also everyone, we might go upside down at some point, but that's completely normal. You know, one of my favorite things to do in an airplane is uh, just do a sick wheelie. Grind the tail off a bit, you know? Normal. So I'm supposed to do that? Completely fine. They actually made the plane to do wheelies. Probably. I don't know. Also, we, we're, we're definitely going to have to try that again because we took off way too soon now. I'm going to have to just land it back down, you know, very gently. And uh, there you go. That's how the plane's meant to work, everyone. It bounces a bit. It bounces a little bit. And we'll give that one another go. Let's turn it around. Oh, you kind of... A bit too late to actually turn it around now so we're just gonna just gonna drive there I suppose uh, watch out for those trees thankfully the trees uh, don't actually exist in the same realm as reality so did a cool skit there that's five pilot points right there and I just turned myself around easy peasy back to the room where we go everybody so a lot of people don't know the planes are very versatile creatures uh, they can basically take any sort of impacts uh, they can they can even go on the motorway, you see? Uh, there you go. Look at that. Just cross the lanes there. Completely fine. It does appear. We're also going to go into the water a little bit there, but that's fine. Planes are meant to do that, as you can see. Simply drifting along like Jesus. Yeah, you know the uh, miracle on the Hudson? Well, this is the miracle on the uh, lake, small lake by uh, Heathrow Airport. It's, um, it's a miracle that they let the pilot actually pilot the plane this drunk. There you go. Look at that. I'm like a majestic swan in the water, just wading through a, a giant beast, but a beautiful and majestic one. There you go, can be weighed back out of the lake like a like a mermaid, hungry for some sailors. Oh, well, it didn't get very far. Just crashed into this poor fellow's house. Sorry if that's one of your guys' house down there. Uh, if it is, that's your house. Leave a like down below, little Jimmy. Uh, shout out to this guy. All right, it's time. We're gonna get this puppy in the air. There's gonna be no funny business whatsoever. It's gonna be a nice, simple flight to uh, an airport that is, well, not very far away. Oh yeah, it's not too far off. Uh, objectives, no objective. Sums up the channel pretty well, if I do say so. All right, brakes are off. Gotta wait till we get ourselves up to a nice speed, and then we're gonna take off, do a little bit of a loop, and head around the city. See if we see anything interesting. Should go over a few monuments if I manage to get this uh, bird in the air. But it's like I said, I don't. Even, it's second nature at this point. I could do it without even looking. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. Now, usually I think you'd go up a way higher than this before doing a turn, but uh, you know what? Best pilot around, I don't follow the rules or the laws of aviation or common sense. I'm pretty drunk in the cockpit. I mean, I, I'm mostly just impressed that uh, this thing's in the air, let alone the fact I managed to turn it around. But uh, look at that, baby. Anyone could be a pilot. It's that easy. Hey, the pr problem is this plane goes up quite high. Uh, I'm not from London, and uh, I have no idea where anything interesting is on the map. Uh, you see anything of interest down there? I don't know. Is that where the Queen lives? Down there? That house somewhere? I, I don't know. Well, it's London. I'm here. What, what would I know about London? Uh, uh, sorry everyone on board. The, uh, the pilot's not too familiar with London, so he's going in for a bit of a closer look. I, I really I really can't see much from this point of view. Oh, there, there we go. Much easier if I'm upside down. And the pilot's drunk as hell! Don't worry, this is normal. This is completely fine. There you go, look at that. We landed safe and sound. And we're back in the air. That's how planes work. Just bouncing around, you know. Oh, I just probably put the landing gear down. Sorry. Broke a bit of protocol there. Uh, formal apology to everyone on board. Uh, that was a bit of a lack of judgment on my part. The uh, the lack of judgment being my, my lack of piloting ability. That's right. 
I'm legally not allowed to pilot this plane. <coughs> I'd just like to announce, sir, that I'm, I'm usually not this bad of a pilot, everyone on board, but uh, I've been having an affair on my wife, and I just did a fat line up the stewardess's ass. Okay. I've unintentionally lost a lot of control of the plane. Uh, when we do appear to be approaching the Houses of Parliament, I just want to make a formal statement now to the British government that this is not a political statement. But I do appear to be going down over you. We're just spinning now. Nothing to do with me. But, I, you know what? We're, we're close to something important. I think we should probably go ahead and just turn this puppy off. Uh, so, uh, we good after that? I'm here to be merging into... Oh, I mean, someone's back got a Perfect landing. Right, I got a... I got slightly downgraded after last flight. But don't worry. You know, this thing's more personal. Got a... Got a man supervising me at all points now, just in case I do anything stupid. He has a gun, please help me. Yeah, this is, this is fine. It's very personal, you know, I got a nice control panel. Not not as many buttons as our last one, but I, I've got the, the cabin heat control, you know, just... Turn the heating on in here. Damn, so cozy. So, we've got a few interesting sights around here. Uh, that's, um, that's, a, that's a building down there. Yep, that's uh, that's where the Queen lives. Right there. In what looks like Chernobyl. Yep, you know, you got uh, another building there to your right. That's, uh, that's, where the, that's where the Queen lives. Uh, in a few moments, we'll be flying over what appears to be a, a swamp over there. That's where the queen used to live, but then she didn't get enough sacrifices this uh, bountiful harvest, so she flooded it and murdered everyone that lived there. Oh, well, there you go. Well, there you go. There's, a, there's the Houses of Parliament coming up right there. And if I know my British history and politics and stuff like that, that is actually where the queen lives. Hot down. You see that right there? That's Big Ben right there. No, not that tower. The guy standing right there. Look at him. He's fat and he's called Ben. You know what? We're going to do a quick flyby. Get a real good look at this puppy up close. Look at that. There you go. The Houses of the Parliament, everyone. It's where the Queen lives. Looking pretty good, gotta say. Look at that. It's actually quite impressive. Too bad it's full of tossers. There you go. We got a uh, we got tower bridge right there. We got a, a boat underwater. Oh wait, one oh, sec. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention to actually flying the plane. Uh, gotta watch out for that skyscraper too. While I'm at it, we're doing a few show loops. All right, completely fine. All right. Okay, it's gonna be a little bit awkward, you know, because uh, one of us is gonna have to get out and push. It ain't gonna be me. I didn't get us into this pickle. All right. Good news. I've been upgraded. After that last flight, they were actually pretty impressed by my skills, maneuverability, and the fact I blame the other guy. Uh, also, bad news though is that I'm also in America now, which means there's a lot more, you know, I can't fly into anything. It's a bit of a sensitive topic here. Oh god. That's a lot of big buildings. I'm not famous for my big building maneuverability. Oh, you look at that! Statue of Liberty right there. Well, let's go for a bit of a closer look just before we uh, get to our destination. Don't worry, that's fine. Uh, may have scraped the landing a bit, but that was the Statue of Liberty right there, guys. Did you enjoy- I'm stalling. Don't worry about it. This is fine. This plane can- It's fine. Still going. Crashed into a rock. That wasn't that bad, you know. It was only a, it was only a couple things flashing, and we got to see the uh, Statue of Liberty. It's right, uh, it's right there. Looks pretty good. It's hard to see with my face stuck in this rock, though. God damn. I never have to actually go to New York now, because I've just seen it all in Flight Simulator. We've got the Empire State Building over there, we got the Brooklyn Bridge, we've seen the Statue of Liberty. we got New York in general right over there. I'm gonna try my best not to start a national travesty right now. And uh, there's uh, the, the big park everyone likes, that's pretty cool. I'll go get a little quick look at that. Hey, only real, only real problem with New York, you got a lot of tall buildings. It's uh... It's not very fun to fly around, uh, trying not to, you know, you know, damn, you know, I, I would, I would really like to take in the beauty, 
of, you know, New York. So there's a man in my ear telling me that my plane is stalling. Clearly it's not stalling. It's flying perfectly fine. Okay, maybe I was stalling a little bit. And maybe I crashed into a tree somewhere. Oh, there I am. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty successful flight, if you think about it. Did start any, you know, trouble. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. I don't know what any of these buttons do, but is it too late for me to be pressing them? Probably. I feel like we should probably... Oh. Well, well there goes my steering wheel.